We want to set up to Rachel. Thanks for Chris and just craft it. For this craft, you need clay of your choice. Start by taking your polymer clay and conditioning it. It might take a while for each color to get it to the softness you want to be able to work with it. So if you have extra hands around, make sure they help out. And rolling the clay and using the palms of our hands really help to speed up the process. Once the clay is ready, flatten it out into little circles like this and stack them in the colors you want. They don't have to be even. Just make a stack of the rainbow colors, then slice off a small piece from the stack like this. And then you're just gonna squeeze these colors together. You can twist this or just roll it out snake-like, just like you do with Play-Doh. And work with it so all the colors stick to each other. And then once you have the clay snake like this, then you can cut a little section off to make your bagel. You want it to be a little bit thick so when you roll it over you have a nice thick bagel. You don't want the center to be too open and you can always squish it together if the center is too big to make the hole a little bit smaller. And then you can rearrange the stacked colored clay before you cut it to make different colors on the outside like this yellow and blue. And make sure to make enough rainbow bagels to feed all your dolls and you can stop right here and bake it and you have your rainbow bagels or you can take it a step further, freeze a couple for five to 10 minutes, take them out of the freezer, they should be just hard enough where you can get a blade and slice them right down the middle. I'm using a straight edge blade from my foam board cutting kit. Make sure you have permission or supervision before using one of these. And you just slice it right down the middle and because we had the bagels in the freezer for about 10 minutes, they don't squish when you cut through them and you get a nice clean cut, just like a real bagel. Now check these out, aren't they beautiful? The insides of these rainbow bagels are so cool. So I would definitely cut up your bagels if you can and serve them in slices. Now if you want to give the inside of your bagels a little bit of texture, you can take a toothpick and just pick at it and work with it until you get that bagel-like look for the inside. Now take all the bagels that you've made, put them on a cookie sheet, and bake them according to the package of your clay. And here they are, rainbow bagels fresh out of the oven, and they look beautiful. Now remember, no two rainbow bagels are the same, so they're all gonna have their own unique shape and color to them and design, and they're so cool, and your dolls are gonna love these. And we've made so many, I don't know if we should just have a big breakfast or if we should open up a bagel shop. But I definitely think these bagels need some schmear. What do you say? We're gonna get a doll bowl, we're gonna fill it up with some silicone, and this is the fast drying silicone, so it dries within 20 minutes. So we're gonna use this bowl as our cream cheese bowl. And then we're gonna take one of the bagels that we've already sliced open, and we're gonna take the cream cheese and spread it on nice and even. Do you know what kind of cream cheese is served with rainbow bagels? Leave us a comment and tell us if you know.